As is probably abundantly clear to you by now, I am pretty far behind in content, so you'll have to bear with me as we do some catch up here. In very late May, Mickey and I met Jackie. Her name was different at the time, but we had to name her Jackpot because, well, you know why. My next several vlogs are probably going to be from a combination of summer tournaments at the Wynn and Venetian. However, I wasn't really able to get a whole lot of table footage at these spots, and I get the feeling that they don't really want me to either. So in lieu of using that table footage, I'm going to include some clips from the weeks and months after getting Jackie, and just kind of uh, have a little bit of fun with it. I also didn't really realize when recording the hand analysis that I was going to be going this route, so yeah, this is a little bit of a way to deal with not having my face in the video basically at all. In this event, we're playing the $1,100 million dollar guarantee first flight, or at least my first flight, at the win. I played a turbulent couple of first levels and then came back from break and played this hand. 20k chips in the stack, probably down from about 30k starting, and playing with 200, 400, 400 blinds. Early position raises to 1.1k, and I'm in the big blind with king queen offsuit and call. The flop comes queen 7 deuce 2 tone, I check. He bets 1.1k, and this is going to be a very easy call. I could actually consider check raising at some frequency here, but here I just decided to put in the call. Turn is the three of spades, and I'm pretty sure I have the queen of spades here. However, I check, and he just checks it back. The river is the queen of hearts, so we make top trips. I lead for 3.7k here, expecting my hand to be good basically always, and wanting to target pocket pairs that are basically below a queen. Uh, maybe a weaker queen that sometimes checks back turn and really just anything weak that he feels like he has to call with but doesn't like it. He does tank call and my hand is good. However, I've chipped down now in the next blind level. Not a whole lot has happened, so I've been paying blinds several orbits. 300, 500, 500 blinds, 19.6k in the stack. Early position open jams for 11.5k and the button finds a call. This is a little bit weird because this is literally a 23 big blind jam, and I look down at black pocket jacks. Not really loving my life here, but when the button calls and doesn't rejam, it's hard to know what hits range looks like. Some players will be quite balanced here and have aces in range, some won't. Uh, but at the end of the day, this hand is just a little too strong. I stick it in there, and button gives a speech saying that he's behind, then calls, he is behind, with ace jack offsuit. Early position has pocket four, so we are in absolutely incredible shape here with jacks. Just, uh, this is the spot of absolute dreams. I mean, we're looking at doubling more than doubling to something like a 100 big blind stack here. However, the board has other plans as it comes ace, queen, five, deuce, four. And uh, we lose to both players. So, a nice clean bust out there. I decided to hop in for another bullet, feeling pretty good and being able to come in with 50 big blinds. In this hand, I have 28k in the stack. The hijack, who's a pretty active player who I've played with from my previous table, makes it 1600. I'm on the button with ace queen suited, 3 bet to 4.8k, pretty much my standard size here, and he calls. The flop comes queen 6 deuce, 1 diamond. He checks, and I decide to down bet to 3.5k since the board is very disconnected. He makes the call. Turn is the jack of diamonds. He checks, and while I think that I could certainly barrel some cards here, it's probably not a great card for my range. He's going to have more of the queen jacks of the world. We can both have pocket jacks, but I might not bet flop. So I decided to just check it back. The river is one of the worst cards in the deck. It is the king of clubs, and he jams. <laughs> he jams 21.5k, so this is, I believe, pretty much for our stack, or very, very close. Um, this is a terrible spot. He has queen jack, he has king queen in range. Uh, he may even have a couple of weird like pocket sixes, pocket deuces that don't fast play the flop. Um, yeah, it's just not a fun spot to be in. However, I do remember some interesting lines that he took from the earlier table where he was pretty active and very kind of attack heavy when people showed weakness. Uh, this is another cool reason to check back the turn here. I end up deciding to call, and he actually has 6-5 of diamonds that he turned into a bluff. So, um, pretty cool line from him. Interesting also to note that with the turn jack of diamonds, I, I probably could have just bet turn and gotten it in there. Uh, but instead, I had to you know play it the tricky way where he felt like he had to turn it into a bluff, and we had the hero call. 60k in this new hand. 
501k 1k blinds, and this active guy makes it 2.3k. I'm on the button with ace queen suited once again, ace queen of hearts this time. I make it 6.5k. He 4 bets to 15.6k and covers me. Pretty uncomfortable spot, again, against an active player. He's going to have probably some bluffs or some value here that we're performing well against. So I think folding is a bit too weak, especially when he only makes it basically under 2.5x from out of position. I make the call, and the flop comes 10, 9, 7, 2 diamonds. He checks. I make it 10.6k here, just really hoping to fold out ace, king, and ace, queen. But he jams. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what his sizing is here. I'm guessing he covers me or pretty close. I just make the fold a uh, pretty unfortunate one, sticking in a little bit extra in the four bet pot. The bet is probably not mandatory, but seeing as I have tens, nines, and uh, other strong hands in range here, I think it's fine. 35K now in the stack, 600, 1200, 1200 blinds. Early position makes it 3.5K. Middle position tries to make it 4.6K verbally is not allowed to do so. You cannot raise to 1.2K over a raise of 2.3K, so it's a forced call. However, she's trying to make it 7K with the chips now. It's still a call. I'm on the button with red pocket sevens, and this seems like the no brainerist call in the history of no-brainer calls. Small blind also calls, and the flop comes king, eight, deuce, rainbow. Checks through. I don't really see any point in betting here. We were just kind of getting in trying to flop a set. We didn't do that, we check. No set, no bet. Turn is the nine of spades, checks through once again. Kind of the same reasoning. Anybody can really have something better than us here. And I don't think we have a ton of fold equity as played. River is the six of hearts. Small one makes it 15K off of 21.5K and it folds to me. It's hard to really put him on any value when the preflop actions happened how it did. Uh, maybe he could sometimes occasionally have pocket sixes, maybe occasionally slow played pocket eights or pocket nines, but I think most players are betting that on the turn as played. So I call, <laughs> I call with my whatever fourth pair. Uh, and he says, I'm good. I just show and take it down. No need to embarrass him with whatever he had here. I, I believed him right away that he just never is winning this hand. 63k in the stack once again here 1k 1500 1500 blinds i'm in the cutoff with ace three and i bump it up to 3.5k big blind is the only caller and the flop comes queen nine seven he checks and i decided to check this back seeing as it's a pretty coordinated board with many straight draws and my ace high actually has a little bit of showdown value the turn is one of those cards that helps me realize some of that showdown value it's the ace of diamonds Check, and I decided to check it back because this is pretty much the weakest ace I will ever have here. River, six of diamonds, and the big blind now leads for 10.5k. I actually don't love this spot. Uh, I think that when the board sort of runs out diamonds and there's an ace on the board, he just shouldn't really expect me to have worse than hands like maybe kings or jacks. And I don't think many players value bet a queen often enough here. However, I think I'm just a little too strong. We just have to feel so confident to find the nitty fold. So I end up putting the call in and I do in fact lose to ace queen offsuit. So my instinct was right here, but I just couldn't pull the trigger on the fold. Always kind of hard to find those big folds, especially on the days when you've been putting in those hero calls and mostly being right. 44.5k in the stack now. I'm in early position with ace queen of clubs and I bump it up to 3.5k. Small blind and the big blind both call. Big blind has about 18k behind. Flop comes 999. Nine, nine. You notice if you uh, flip that upside down, it's actually 666. So this is a pretty scary board, and I would like to represent scary boards. I see bet 5k, and only the big blind makes the call. Notice he now has only about 13k behind. The turn is the king of hearts. It goes check, check, because I just actually don't think people call this flop all that wide when they should. River, six of clubs. He checks, and I check it back, just not expecting him to fold really anything to this action, and I lose to quads. Nice answer. 1k, 2k, 2k blinds, 37k in the stack. I limp in the small blind with king eight offsuit, as I'll do with a lot of my sort of medium strength king x hands and uh sort of like middling strength hands in general flop comes eight three three i bet for 2k and he calls 
turn is eight of spades. I think my hand is a little bit too strong now, and it's also harder to get value from the hands that I could continue to get value from on different cards. So I check, he checks it back. The river is a six of diamonds, and now I don't think he's gonna bet my hand for me. I bet 8K just trying to target pocket pairs, ace high, and a three. He calls, and my hand is good. 50k or so in the stack now, same blind level, middle position makes it 8k, I'm in the cutoff with ace 10 offsuit and make the call. Big blind calls as well, and the flop comes ace 9, 8, rainbow. Middle position C bets for 12k, and I make the call. These boards are a little tricky because against these sorts of openers who might not actually open things like ace 6 through ace deuce, uh, unless suited, we're looking at, you know, Ace-9, Ace-8 beats us, Ace-Jack plus beats us, but we definitely can't fold at this point. The turn is a four of clubs, he checks, and for all those reasons, uh, and the fact that I think it's hard to get value from things like King-Queen, Queen-Jack, uh, I decided to just check it back here. The river's a five of hearts, and she bets 35k covering me. This is a pretty gross spot because they're not really representing anything that I beat. They might have some bluffs, and they might have very occasionally like the same hand but they're not really representing a seven here uh they're not really representing any pocket pairs that we beat i do ultimately decide to make the call though because it feels like one of the better aces i can have in retrospect i think i can just fold though uh i think making my line something like ace jack or ace queen and then also two pairs if i ever get to <laughs> the river here with them uh, i can also call the problem i had in the moment was i felt like i would bet turn on both of so those stronger hands i end up making the call and she shows pocket fives for a rivered set uh don't really love her flop c bet three ways uh on this coordinated board and on a board where everybody can have a ton of ace x uh, but it works out i decided not to bet turn i think for good reasons but sometimes you just get punished uh, the classic play for eight hours to not make day two. I don't love it. Uh, yeah, so pretty annoyed. Obviously, that final hand could be, could be played a couple different ways. If I just happen to bet the turn solely, by the way, to deny equity, it's not really for value. If I do that, I'm just really uh, lighting money on fire, I'm pretty sure. So... But if I happen to do that, I obviously win the hand because she's just gonna fold. Um, so pretty, uh, pretty unfortunate. In for two bullets today, minus twenty two hundred. But plus six hundred playing the uh, the fifty cent a dollar round of each no limit PLO on Poker Two that I host roughly weekly. And I mean, who doesn't like getting a twenty five percent rebate on a two bullet bust? You know. Meanwhile. I've already pre-regged, God, it's hot. I've already pre-regged for tomorrow. So what that means is there's gonna be another vlog. So always remember, just triple, and I'll see you in the next video.